Final Web Live Streaming is one of our most exciting features. Customers can set up this option so that events and services can be easily streamed onto their websites with very little work. This video is a brief demonstration of how to get started. First, click into the Site Manager after logging in. You will see that there is now a live streaming link in the Quick Links menu. And on the Live Streaming Manager page, you'll be able to view statistics about your streaming services, as well as set up your viewing hour plans. Let's go ahead and do that to begin, so click on the Purchase Viewer Hours button. This page outlines the different payment plan options that we offer. The plans are rated based on viewer hours, video storage amounts, and whether or not transcoding is available. Transcoding allows both video and audio to be playable on mobile devices such as iPhones, iPads, and Android phones and tablets. For demonstration, I'll just select the 500 hour pro plan. After filling out the payment information, you're ready to start setting up a live stream. Click here to add a new channel. Give the channel a title. Select which site or sub-site the recorded video should go to which the library should go to, whether it should be streamed only or available for download as well, and whether transcoding is enabled or disabled. Then the username and password field is for if you're going to use a third-party client to broadcast your video. Save the changes and we've added a channel. Now if you're going to have multiple streams running at the same time, you will need to create separate channels for each. The next step is to create a web page to hold the live video content. We make this easy with a dynamic page component for it. So click to add a new web page. Give it a title. Save the changes. Click to add a section. In the list of components, there's a video object. And then one of the objects is the live stream service. Select the channel, display size, and the alignment. Save the changes. So here is the live streaming web page that visitors can view. You'll see that if you're logged in as an administrator, you'll have access to the publish button. Clicking this will open a new window with the broadcasting client. If your camera is attached, you'll be able to allow it and start publishing to this new stream right away. This is how easy it is. I'll click to allow the camera, make sure the settings are right, and then click go live. Now the video can be displayed on this page. After refreshing, click play. There's the content. To stop the broadcast, all you have to do is click stop, and the stream will end and within a few minutes, the recorded video will show up in your download library if you chose to have that option available. This is an exciting new tool that we hope will be beneficial to you. And as always, please contact us if you have any questions at all.